Hey and welcome back to another Dark Fall tutorial. In this video we're going to be doing a little bit of modelling. We're going to try and achieve the uh, the quilted leather effect. So shift A and add in a plane and scale it up. Press Ctrl A to apply the scale. Now we don't really need to apply the scale in this example but it's a good idea to get used to applying the scale for things. Press T to bring up the sidebar. We're going to be using that in a minute. And if we tab into edit mode and then press W we can uh, choose subdivise. Now we want to increase this, the number of cuts. The more cuts we give it, the more buttons there will be, so keep that in mind. I'm going to increase it to say 5. And then we want to choose vertex select mode, and then choose these vertices here. So we just want to alternate it, get this kind of pattern. Make sure you don't select the wrong ones. Like so. So we want to turn these into circles, so if we hit Control b um, this will try and bevel it, but it does this instead. So if we press V, it will now split the vertice and give us this diamond shape, which is what we want. So let's press W again, and then we want to subdivide this just once. And not only does it subdivide this, the diamond, it also adds these lines across these edges, which is very helpful. Uh, what we want to do is select face select mode. And we're going to want to, we want to turn these into circles. Now there's an add-on that can help us. So go to File, User Preferences, then Add-ons, and then type in Loop. And it brings up these here, this Mesh Loop Tools, which is very, very useful. Um, it was made by Bart Crouch, so thanks to you for making that, because I use it all the time, especially when I'm modeling, so it takes a lot of the work out. So what I do is activate that and just save the user settings so I don't have to keep worrying about turning it on and off. So I always keep that active. So now we've got that one, make sure you're in face select mode and we go down and again make sure you're in edit mode. We have now have this option here called loop tools which is very useful. Now any one of these will work as standard which is pretty good. But what you can also do if you click this button here you can, you've got a lot of um, control as well. Like I say from standard this should work so just press circle and yeah straight away it turns into circles. Very very useful. If for some reason it doesn't work like this, just select in the individual diamond and then press circle and then the next one. Because sometimes I found it didn't work, so I had to do it that way. I don't know why. Okay, so moving on, what we want to do is down here to earn the pivot point, we want to change it to um, individual origins. So now when we press E to extrude and then right click and then S to scale. E to extrude again, and then again E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, and you can go fancy with these buttons, um, I'm just going to make a very simple one, so scale this down a little bit more, then extrude it, and scale it down, so it's very simple, but you can put more work into these buttons if you've got time, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's getting there now, so it looks a little bit better. Okay, so tap back into edit mode and we want to select vertex select mode again and select this one. So I'm selecting these like so. And all you have to do is just drag these up and how much you give it is entirely up to you. If you want them to be raised a lot, then it's up to you. Still looks terrible. <laughs> so let's add another modifier. Well, let's add a modifier and we want to give this a subdivision surface. We can increase this to 2. Let's also um, set smooth shading, so press T and then go to smooth shading. It's getting there now. I'm just going to turn off this modifier so it doesn't get in the way. Now what we want to do is select these diagonal lines to give the ridges. So I want to change it to edge select mode and I want to select all of them. I want to select this one here, this one and this one and that's on all of the diagonal edges. So you'll see I'll go through these now and select them all and then yeah I'll probably speed this up as well because it's a little bit time consuming but you can you get the idea so just select all these diagonal lines. So once you've selected all of them, um, we just press Control B again. And what we want to do before we 
commit to anything we want to uh, scale up on the middle mouse wheel so it adds an extra line so that looks good so now we want to select this middle line again so like we just did a minute ago just select all these um, diagonal lines or diagonal edges and then just drag them down so again I'm going to go through these and select all those um, edges like we did before so I'll probably speed this part up again So we just drag this down now on the Z, and it gives us that ridge. How much you give this is entirely up to you. I mean, if you want them to go deep, then yeah, keep dragging them down on the Z axis, but it's entirely up to you how shallow or deep they look. Um, I think I'm gonna go for something like this. Let's enable that again. It's not looking too bad. Now we wanna make sure the edges don't look flat like that, so it's very easy. We go to vertex select mode, and we just wanna, if we select this one here, and this one at the edge, and press F to add the edge, And then just do the same thing all the way around. Just select this point here and the end and just press F. So again, I'm going to speed this part up so you get the idea. So now we have that. <laughs> it's almost finished now. Let's just add the, uh, the edge around it. So edge select mode. I just want to select this edge here all the way around. Like this. Now if we hit E to extrude and then press Z to constrain it on the Z axis, Let's just drag it down a bit. And if you want you can press Ctrl R, add a loop cut to tighten this edge here. So hopefully this tutorial helped. I know it wasn't uh, the best tutorials but somebody asked how to do this effect and I thought I'd show you. So yeah, hopefully somebody finds this helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a like. As always, thanks for watching these tutorials and I'll see you next time.